Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of troops for today's ceremony is Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Cook, Executive Officer, Marine Corps Station, New York. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Marine Corps Relations East, Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune, Commanding General, Brigadier General Andrew M. Nebel, welcome to Marine Corps Air Station New River's Change of Command Ceremony, in which Colonel Curtis V. Ebbets will relinquish command to Colonel Garth W. Burnett. Today's ceremony is being executed by the officers and Marines of Headquarters and Headquarters Squadron and Center for Naval Aviation Training Unit, Marine Corps Air Station New Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation given by Lieutenant Commander Glenn Kitzman and Lieutenant Michael Bowen. Where is the new Chaplain Corps, United States Navy? Let us pray. Almighty God, invite you to join us as we render honor to those for whom it is due. Strengthen legs that will stand at attention and hands that will bear our colors. Give clarity of mind to those who will speak as on our two work gentlemen. As Colonel Burnett takes charge of this post and all government property in view, we ask that you reveal to him how he has been prepared for such a time as this. Every CO of this air station has been tested within their tenure, tenure by storms of many kinds. Whatever challenges blow our way in the next three years, strengthen him to lead with courage, compassion, and character. Now there is one we cannot fail to honor today one whose magnificent legacy will remain even after mountains topple, after once proud oceans are dried and cracked and turned to sand, when at last our final enemy has feebly raised the white flag of surrender, I'm talking about Colonel Evitz, who led with dignity and poise, who from the very core exuded the ideals buried in the ink of every Marine Corps tattoo. Colonel Evitz, who is forever entwined into the ever-growing history of our very existence. Bless Colonel Evitz, whose lawful commands, like the battle cries of an ancient army, are potent enough to sunder the dome of heaven and reach your everlasting throne. And also, please bless her husband, who retires today after 28 years of honorable service. And Heavenly Father, throughout his stalwart leadership of the air station, through challenges innumerable, as we know, Kibbles never allowed his focus to be drawn away from what really mattered, our people. Now, as he turns his attention to on eliminating the squirrel population in the greater Dallas-Fort Worth metropolis, may his hands be steady and his aim be true. May his weapon be ever ready in condition one, and may he kill be swift. Our departing CEO would say, the honor of sacrificing for the good of our nation is a reward unto itself. Nevertheless, on this day of his retirement, we pray a special blessing be upon him. May he always be surrounded by those who love him. And Lord, may he be given time upon time to watch his children develop and grow. May he never depart from your presence all the days of his life. Father, may he be remembered that even when he is out of uniform, he will always be a Marine. Lord, we thank you for Colonel Evans, and we pray. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Present day parades in the Marine Corps have their basis in both history and tradition. The mass formation of troops on one long line at close interval made possible the massing of firepower from muzzle loaded muskets of the past. The adjutant forms the line of battle, and in those early days, that line consisted of two or three ranks, much like in the parade you will see today.
ladies and gentlemen, please rise for honors to the Commanding General, Marine Corps Installations East, Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune, Brigadier General Andrew M. Nebel, and remain standing for the presentation of colors. Ladies and gentlemen, now taking his position in the reviewing area is the commanding officer of Marine Corps Air Station New River, Colonel Curtis V. Ebbets. Ladies and gentlemen, now come to the ceremony's most solemn moment, the actual passing of command. The battle colors of Marine Corps unit symbolizes the authority and accountability of command. Transferring the colors during the ceremony symbolizes the relinquishment of command by Curtis B. Ebbets, and by accepting the colors, Colonel Garth W. Burnett accepts command and confirms his total commitment to the Marines and sailors that he will command. Sergeant Major Douglas Gerhardt is delivering the colors to the commanding officer. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the transfer of the colors. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Colonel Curtis V. Evitz, effective 10 hundred, 8 July 2022, you stand relieved as the commanding officer, Marine Corps Air Station New River. Signed, David H. Berger, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Garth W. Burnett, effective 10 hundred, 8 July 2002. You will assume the duties as the Marine Corps Air Station New River Commanding Officer. Signed, David H. Berger, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the reviewing officer for today's ceremony is Brigadier General Andrew M. Nebel, Marine Corps Installations East, Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune, Commanding General.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Commandant of the Marine Corps, the President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Legion of Merit, Gold Star in lieu of second award to Colonel Curtis V. Evans, Jr., United States Marine Corps, for service as set forth in the following citation. For exceptionally meritorious conduct and the performance of outstanding service while serving as a commanding officer, Marine Corps Air Station New River, from July 2019 to July 2022. During this period, Colonel Ibbots contributed greatly to the successful mission of the Marine Corps Air Station New River through his superb leadership of over 400 service members and civilians in support of over 6,000 Air Station Tenant Command personnel. During his command, he directed the development of the first Air Station Readiness Model, a continual process improvement program streamlining the basic services to the tenant commands while creating a scalable model for other installations to adapt and employ. Under his leadership, the Air Station supported over 60,000 control tower operations, 40,000 approach control operations, and serviced nearly 32,000 aircraft. In 2021, he oversaw the successful execution of vigilant response a full-scale exercise involving numerous tenant and civic partners that tested the installation's ability to respond to a mass casualty event. His ability to project the needs of tenant commands was a driving force behind military construction and renovation prioritization, worth over $580 million. Colonel Evans' superior performance of duties culminated his 28 years of honorable and dedicated military service. By his determination, perseverance, and selfless dedication to duty, Colonel Ebbets reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. For the President, signed David H. Berger, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Certificate of Retirement from the Armed Forces of the United States of America. To all who shall see these presents, greeting. This is to certify that Colonel Curtis V. Ebbets, Jr., having served faithfully and honorably, was retired from the United States Marine Corps Reserve on the first day of October, 2022. Signed, David H. Berger, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Dear Kurt, on the occasion of your retirement, I want to thank you for your leadership, service, and commitment to our Corps. Although I am unable to attend the ceremony, please know that I and thousands of Marines you have affected along the way are with you in spirit. As you transition after more than 28 years as a United States Marine, I hope you'll take a few moments to reflect on all you have accomplished. 
After earning your wings of gold as a CH-46 Echo Naval Aviator, you reported to Marine Medium Helicopter Squadron 162, 22, 22nd Marine Expeditionary Unit, where you received accolades while serving as an aviation safety officer. In the field grade ranks, you had the privilege of commanding Marine Wing Headquarters Squadron 1, 1st Marine Aircraft Wing, Okinawa, Japan, leading your Marines, sailors, and civilians with firm, fair, and compassionate leadership while aggressively and successfully accomplishing all missions assigned to your squadron. In the rank of Colonel, you were lauded as Division Chief for the Assessments Division and Multinational Operations Division, Trans Regional Threats Coordination Cell within the J-5 Joint Staff for your outstanding efforts while developing, implementing, and managing the counter-violent extremist organization process in support of the campaign to defeat the Islamic States. Today, as the commanding officer, Marine Corps Air Station New River, your dedication has set the conditions for the Corps' continued success long after your departure. On behalf of the Marines who served with you and who will serve after you, thank you for your devotion. Your contribution to the Corps' warfighting legacy and its future are immeasurable. As you depart, you go with gratitude, admiration, and affection of your fellow Marines. I wish you the very best as you begin the next phase of your life. Fair winds and following seas. Sincerely, David H. Berger, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. George W. Bush, March 2nd, 2022. Dear Curtis, thank you for your service in the United States Armed Forces. I am proud to have served as your Commander in Chief, and I am pleased to join your family, friends, and colleagues in recognizing your career and accomplishments. Throughout history, the dedicated men and women of our military have protected our citizens and preserved the ideals that make our country strong. Their courage and sacrifice have inspired countless people and have helped shape America's character. On behalf of a grateful nation, I thank you for your contributions to our security and to the cause of peace and freedom. Your service patriotism and selfless devotion have helped advance the universal hope of liberty at home and around the world. Laura and I send our best wishes for health and happiness in the years ahead. May God bless you and may God continue to bless America. Sincerely, George W. Bush. Year eight, on the occasion of Kurt from duty. Stand by, ladies and gentlemen. Dear Amy, congratulations on the occasion of Kurt's retirement from active duty. More importantly, thank you for your willingness to also serve. Donna and I fully appreciate the sacrifice associated with a career in the Marine Corps. You, Curtis, and Savina have endured the moves the separation, and the long hours associated with Kurt's commitment to his fellow Marines and the Corps. I hope you know that you have also positively influenced countless others along the way and truly made a difference. As you embark on the next chapter of your life, please know that you will always remain a part of the Marine Corps family. Once again, thank you for all that you have done to take care and support our Marines and their families. I wish you and Kurt the very best. Sincerely, David H. Berger, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. United States Marine Corps. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Installations East, Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune, takes great pleasure in presenting a certificate of appreciation to Colonel Amy Ebbets. Please accept my grateful appreciation for your unfailing support and understanding that helped make possible your husband's lasting contribution to the Corps and this command. You have a unique role as an active duty service member, wife, and mother. While serving your country, you had to balance the demands of the Marine Corps, competing work schedules, and raising children. 
You also had to tolerate endless hours of whining, complaints about the Pentagon, embellished aviation stories, and meals cooked on a Traeger grill, because it's all about the pellets. We fully realized that being a dual military family did not come without hardships and sacrifices. Your devotion to the Marine Corps and your family have truly made a difference in the lives of many. I am sure that you have many memories that will remain a rewarding part of your life. On behalf of the Marine Corps, we thank you. Signed, Andrew M. Nebel, Brigadier General, United States Marine Corps, Commanding General, Marine Corps Installations East, Marine Corps Base, Camp Lejeune. United States Marine Corps. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Installations East, Marine Corps Base, Camp Lejeune, takes great pleasure in presenting a certificate of appreciation to Mrs. Brenna Perez. Please accept my grateful appreciation for your unselfish, faithful, and devoted service during your father's Marine Corps career. Your unfailing support and understanding helped to make possible your father's lasting contribution to the Corps and his commands. You have a unique role as a military child. Throughout the years of your life, you served your country as much as your father. Your contributions have truly made a difference in the lives of many, and I am sure that you have many memories that will remain a rewarding part of your life. We fully realize that your support and understanding was not provided without hardship and sacrifice during your father's tours of duty. On behalf of the Marine Corps, we thank you. Signed, Andrew M. Nebel, Brigadier General, United States Marine Corps, Commanding General, Marine Corps Installations East, Marine Corps Base, Camp Lejeune. United States Marine Corps. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Installations East, Marine Corps Base, Camp Lejeune, takes great pleasure in presenting a certificate of appreciation to Mr. Curtis Ebbets and Miss Savina Ebbets. Please accept my grateful appreciation for your unselfish, faithful, and devoted service during your parents' Marine Corps careers. Your unfailing support and understanding helped to make possible your parents' lasting contribution to the Corps and their commands. You have a unique role as a military child. Throughout the years of your life, you served your country as much as your parents. Your contributions have truly made a difference in the lives of many and I am sure that you have many memories that will remain a rewarding part of your life. We fully realize that your support and understanding was not provided without hardship and sacrifice during your parents' tours of duty. On behalf of the Marine Corps, we thank you. Signed, Andrew M. Nebel, Brigadier General, United States Marine Corps, Commanding General, Marine Corps Installations East, Marine Corps Base, Camp Lejeune. In recognition of the loyal support and dedication, in lieu of flowers, donations were made to Tunnel to Towers in honor of Colonel Amy Ebbets in the Onzo County Women's Center in honor of Mrs. Christian Burnett. At this time, we would like to ask all former Marine Corps Air Station New River Commanders to join Colonel Burnett and Colonel Ivitz 
in the reviewing area. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise as the color guard approaches the reviewing area. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Lieutenant Colonel Matthew P. Cook. The drum major for today's ceremony is Staff Sergeant Kevin Dalton. Headquarters and Headquarters Squadron Commanding Officer is Lieutenant Colonel Robert D. Barbary III. The Color Sergeant for today's ceremony is Sergeant Ashley K. McCullough. The Center for Naval Aviation Technical Training Unit Commanding Officer is Lieutenant Colonel Mark E. Blankenpicker. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please remain standing for the playing of Anchors Away, Marines Hymn, and the final dismissal. <laughs> 